any of you who haven't seen the movie Wanted, oh, it's, it's ridiculous. I don't know. I have an affinity for ridiculous things. Um, you'll know by, by uh, some of the games I mentioned that I play. Like uh, Shadow of Mordor. Uh, DMC Double May Cry. Metal Gear Rising. That kind of stuff. Just, just, the more ridiculous, the better. Oh, finally a level. Okay. Point distribution is pretty obvious at this point. Uh, Lockpick, Sneak, and Small Guns is all at max. And we're at 37 with every other skill. I think it's about time, since I was just talking about it. We're going to go with Cannibal for Karma Balance. And extra healing. You know. I, I, I don't have it. Ooh. <laughs> I need to help this prisoner. Always check these gore bags, because they usually have something of use in there. Um, I usually check them for, for grenades, because they seem to have grenades a lot of the time. Or, you know, if you want to uh, use the rocket launcher to fire mutilated body parts, this is the best place to get them. Holy crap, 24 missiles. There's apparently raiders up here. I'm gonna eat them. Num, 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 num. That's delicious. See how I'm doing it in first person rather than third? It's my uh, enhanced camera mod. It's it's really nice for this kind of thing. So it's more a little more immersive, I would say. Look at the assault rifle. Are you crying? Are you really crying? Well, get up. Cheer up, buddy. Thank you. Whoever you are, thank you. The things they talked about doing to me. Look, I don't have anything to offer you except these supplies. I don't know why they didn't take it. All right. Here, thank you again. I'm going to try and make it home, if it's still there. Oh, that's a little bleak. Well, good luck on uh, trying to make it to your home that may or may not be there. Okay. Forward further towards Rivet City. The big old aircraft carrier turned into a town. Really cool concept for a place, I think. They, uh, yeah. During during the design phase, uh, the idea for, for doing this kind of thing is, is really, really, really cool. So I, uh, um, hmm. Hello, Super Mutant. Wonder where you came from. All right. Just a just a standard run of the mill super mutant just wandering around with an L board. Oh, were you? Were you? Did you really just just like run past me and get that super mutant? To, oh, jeez. Okay. So anyway, I was looking for a question to to ask. Um, some of you were uh, quite a few of you actually were asking about uh, me revealing my face at a certain milestone or or any particular time and currently I don't have a webcam so I really don't have the means to do that unless I use my my standard camera uh, which I'm not going to do but uh, I'm something that something I'm not really ready for um, you'll <laughs> you'll know it when it happens kind of thing welcome to rivet city please wait while the bridge extends but also I want to leave it as a uh, as something that that only a few people will be will be uh, will be able to see my face to begin with and uh, that'll probably be um, I have plans to go to a couple of uh, conventions here in uh, Portland Oregon and uh, as they get closer I'll probably do announcements for those so keep that in mind hold it right there state your business in rivet city Rivet's I'm here to do research on the city's history I'm also looking for my father can I can I say both <laughs> looking for my father and who might your father be? If he lives on this boat, I know him. He doesn't live here. He came to see Dr. Lee. Dr. Lee, eh? Well, then I guess you'd have to ask Dr. Lee for more information. Go on up, then. She's probably in the science lab. But keep your nose clean. Carry on, then. You have a good day there. Alright, so we're gonna go... Gonna go find Dr. Lee first. And that would be the science lab over here. Oh, Dr. Lee! 
This way, right? Here we go. Science lab. It's nice that they have signs. Otherwise, this place would be way more confusing than it already is. Look, Dr. Zimmer, we've been over Wait. this. We don't Did know you just cut him off? Robot and we don't care. This lab is dedicated to solving real problems. You there. What are you, some kind of lab assistant? No, you look a bit more weathered. Are you by any chance for hire? Always. To the point. I like that. Well, as it turns out, I've misplaced some very sensitive property. I'm talking about artificial persons that think and feel and do what we program them to. And occasionally, they get confused and wander off. It will be no easy task. He may not even realize he's an android. Don't upset him by talking with him. Just come get me immediately. I'll handle it. I'd like some of them wired reflexes. We'll go for it. Excellent. Locate my android and you won't be disappointed. Here, listen to this message he sent me. He's mocking me. I swear, I'll make him pay for that. Yes, I... Well, um... Yes. Maybe a quick fix. All right, we have the intelligence bobblehead here. It takes the smartest individuals to realize there's always more to learn. Isn't that the truth? Okay. Hi, Dr. Lee. Hello. Look, this is a restricted area. I'm tired of telling you people. You people? I, it's you. My heavens, you look so much like him. You're James's son, aren't you? What are you doing here? I'm looking for him. Tell me now. Calm down. Calm down. <laughs> what are you doing here? James said you were still in the vault. Look, this is all terribly irrational. Your father just shows up here as if nothing happened. He walked out on us. I know he had his reasons. I know it was to protect you, but still. Project Purity was our life. It was the only thing that mattered. And then he just gave up. He abandoned us. And we were forced to move on. I've already told him that it's over. There's no going back. Project Purity was a failure, and he needs to move on. This has been about, what is it, five? Five lines of dialogue, and she still hasn't told me. Well, I don't know where he is. The last I knew, he was going back to the old lab. Thanks! Now, will you kindly leave? I have work to do. Good luck finding your father. Oh, I appreciate it. I will see each other again. Janice, have you overbalanced the chemical mix? Mm-hmm. Okay. So now that we're here, I, I'm wondering if we should just go to... I just made a full circle. All right. <laughs> I love this place. I think that the doctor's... Doctors, where is he? Where is he? We're also learning about Rivet City's history. So we're going to go downstairs to the Muddy Rudder and speak to Bell Bonnie. I'm Bell Bonnie, and this is the Muddy Rudder. I'll tell you what I tell all the fresh meat. Don't start anything down here, or I'll have Brock kick your ass. Nice place you have here. You must be drunk. Are you gonna order, or what? Have any stories about this place's history? History? What, not enough shit around here already? You need to dig up more? I don't know if it ever had an official start. It's just been here forever. Stuck in the river and full of assholes. I bet someone like you hears lots of stories. Can't you share one? No, oh, I can sure share a bag of get the hell out of my bar. First one's on the house. Now scram. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. Yeah, I'm sure. I'll, uh... I may be back. So being that speech check wasn't lucky, we're gonna have to go to the, uh, to the market. And learn some real things about some real history. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. Oh, yeah. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. I see you're also a person of refinement. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Can I ask you about River City's history? Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead-enders squatting in a rusted-out rowboat. 
Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Hasn't it been around longer for 12 years? Or longer well, than 12 yes, years? Yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Come back soon. I may. I may. There's a bottle cap mine here. I'm gonna take it. No one saw that. Back to the muddy rudder to uh, confront Bell Body on the fact that uh, she decided to withhold information. Bell Body. Hey there. He said, "Are you hitting on me now?" What are you doing? What the hell do you want? Bannon said he organized the entire place himself. Huh. Why, that lying son of a bitch. He wasn't even born when I got here. Want to know this tub's history? Only person who really knows it is Pinkerton. And most think he's dead or gone. He's holed up in the other half of the ship. And he don't like visitors. He'll set you straight. I'll be right here when you get thirsty. I'm, I'm not at all. I have plenty of things to drink. Non-alcoholic things. Irradiated, yes, but uh, non-alcoholic. <laughs> so we're going to learn about the history of this lovely place. Man, this is such such an awesome settlement, I got to say. I wonder if they ever tried to get these, get these planes running, or at least... I, I'm wondering why they didn't break them down for parts, if anything. That was intended. <laughs> that, that, that jump was intentional, by the way. <laughs> Uh, okay, let's go in here. So here we are in the broken bow of the ship looking for Pinkerton. Um, there's many ways to be killed and or injured in this part of the ship. One of which could be by drowning, second of which could be by eviscerating um, <laughs> from the local population of Mirelurks, like that one. Oh boy. I may not get these shots in. Oh man. That's scary. That's a little scary. Oh boy. They can't operate doors. Aha! Oh wait, maybe they can. Oh boy. <laughs> you hear me spamming those stim packs. Oh, I learned something new. Mirelurks can apparently operate doors. That's rather scary, I think. So we're gonna close this again. Just to stay stay hidden for a bit. Oh boy. So other ways to die include explosions, uh buckshot about the face and shoulders. And uh being set on fire. <laughs> so there's there's plenty of ways to meet your demise in the uh, bow of the ship, but thankfully the the first and uh, most intimidating part, at least for me, um, I was able to bypass or run by these uh, these Meyer lurks. Uh, I don't like them. I do not like them one bit. Come here. It, is it? It's stuck. It is stuck in the wall. Oh, now it's not. That was a teleport if I ever saw one. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I'm pretty sure there's just two. There's just two Myra Lurks. They're, they're type depending on uh, what level or what difficulty you reach uh, the bow of the ship at. But I want to move on to the, uh, to the lovely questions, the lovely page of questions that I've been neglecting. Um, let me throw a grenade in here really quick. Uh, would you rather get, uh, what, is it? what did it say? Would you rather get ripped apart by a death claw or jump off of Tenpenny Tower? Um, you guys seem to have, seem to have, uh, I like to ask about the, uh, the death claw, the death claw questions. So, I'm, my answer would probably be, uh, Tenpenny Tower. I don't know, what, what would you guys do? Um, I don't know, it's, it's, uh, 
whichever is more merciful, as, as I had said before on some of the would you rather questions. Um, the, the jumping off of Tenpenny Tower, that would be, that would be pretty quick. That w I feel like that would be a really quick way to go. And uh, it would force the Tenpenny residents to uh, clean up the mess. <laughs> because they're all, you know, up in their tower, being all spoiled and such. So yeah, I'd probably go probably go that route. Jump off to Tenpenny Tower if I had to choose. Um, yeah, if you have any other like would you rather questions, those are pretty fun, pretty fun for me, and and no doubt for everybody else too. So so continue asking those by all means. There's a switch to open uh, open his door here for for Pinkerton's lab. Uh, this is this is a trap here too, and uh, <laughs> it's not uh, it's not to uh, get a better signal. Oh, Pinkerton. Where is he? Oh, he's up there. He's up there just hanging out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sneak back here and get some goodies first. After I after I quick save, because he does he does get mad at you if you uh, <laughs> if he catches you taking his stuff. There's plenty of goods in here to to make several craftable items. This is one of the. I think this might have been one of the several places that I mentioned. He didn't see me, did he? No. Not a good idea. Oh. <laughs> now he did. All right. Hello, Pinkerton. How the hell did you get in here? Hmm. I suppose you can't be all that bad if you made it this far without dying. This is the part where you tell me what the hell you are doing bothering an old man who obviously wants to be left alone. Get on with it already. Tell me the history. The real history. For that... You have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. You were in charge. Strange. That lasted until about 18 years ago, when those ambitious backbiters like Lee and her little team showed up. She came in with her big purity project pipe dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. And you have evidence? Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track of their data. Here, they probably don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. Don't let your guard down. And thank you. Okay, you'll you'll realize that uh, Pinkerton does a little bit of a little bit of extra sciencey stuff, um, even while he's not uh, part of the main community at Rivet City. Um. And that's that's probably for another time. I don't think I have. Ooh, there's another stealth point here. I was wondering if I if I got everything or not. Anyway, but we got what we wanted so far. So, oh, uh, I like I like these uh these pre-prepared uh, workbenches that always have a bottle cap mine on them. <laughs> it's like uh no, of course we're not using it. Feel free to take it. That's like the only thing that I didn't end up stealing. It was just free to grab. So, all right. So we're gonna head out, probably towards Project Purity first, and then back to Megaton. Oops. I don't need to. I don't need to do that. There's a switch right here for the outer door. All right. Yeah. Onward to Project Purity. It's right there. It is literally right there. Uh, it's kind of nice how this worked out. I think. So I did. I did take a couple pot shots at the super mutants over there. There, there is most likely to be some others outside, or at least a, a centaur or two. So we'll see how how this turns out. That draw distance. Is <laughs>